And I don't want you guys to think this video is getting sidetracked because this is all related into such a simple topic such as why we're not supposed to eat meat. But men cause 41% more harmful emissions than women because they eat more meat. So Peter's calling for meat-eating men to be banned from having sex. Yeah. <laughs> this is so funny guys, I'm going to debunk this video for you so make sure you stay until the end and then I'm going to tell you exactly how to deal with this situation if your girlfriend actually decides to do this. Okay so PETA or the People for Ethical Treatment of Animals have said that women should withdraw sex from their partners in order to get them to stop eating meat because apparently meat is bad for the environment. I'm going to discuss all of this all the way through this video. And just for the record, I also believe in treating animals in an ethical way. I'm going to start out with saying that it's funny how in society we're allowed to shame men by saying that we're causing harm to the planet by eating meat, which isn't true anyway, I'm gonna talk about that later but we don't publicly shame women for being obese, for example. So we're creating a society where it's okay to shame men for whatever we want, but we can't shame women. Being obese means you are a drain on the health system. Almost any disease, heart disease, cancer, it doesn't matter what disease or illness you have to go to the hospital or the doctors with, it's usually related to obesity. Even for the virus that I can't say the word for on here, most of the people taking hospital beds up are obese, something that you can control by eating less calories, by placing yourself in a calorie deficit. I just find it funny in 2022 how when men are obese or fat, we get called fat, losers, deadbeats, all these different names that society calls us. When a woman's overweight, when a woman is obese, you're a 10 girl, you're a queen, love yourself, body positivity movement. It's absolute bullshit in 2022 that we have this double standard and quite honestly it's sexist and it's misandry. People don't talk about this enough but it's absolutely the hatred of men that brings these conversation topics up and it's not acceptable. I need to add that I absolutely love women. I think they're incredible. They give a totally different energy to what men do. I think women are great in certain careers. I think women offer great value. One of the greatest things women do is they can give life. I am pro women, I'm pro men. I think both genders are incredible and we're both really good at different things. But let's just put this into perspective. Let me just give you a thought here. Do you not think that it's plausible that men might need to eat almost double the amount of meat that women do when meat is the most nutrient dense food that we can put in our body because men have built everything. All of these roads, phones, TVs, every company that you can imagine, almost everything we use on a day to day basis is built by men and if we are physically exerting ourselves to build this world which we have as men I think it would only make sense that we would eat more meat in order to fuel ourselves to fuel our muscles to be able to build the world that men have built. Is a sex ban on men who eat meat really the answer to saving the planet? It's a question that we're genuinely asking because it is it's, serious. It's, Here we are once again with this narrative that this climate change is so serious. If climate change is so serious then the planet's warming up and the ice is melting, how come when you go to Antarctica and you drill cores of ice they can find out that 50 to 60,000 years ago the earth was two degrees Celsius warmer than it currently is today. So how is that possible? The reason is because it's all cyclical. It just changes. Us humans think we're smarter than we are. We don't have a great deal of control of what happens on the planet. If that was really true, that climate change is as bad as they say it is, that would mean that half of England, half of America would be underwater in the next 25 years. If that was really true, how come banks are giving billions and billions and billions of pounds, billions and billions of billions of dollars, hundreds of billions, out in loans to people that wouldn't be able to pay those loans back because their homes, buildings, whatever would be underwater. It's bullshit. Alan, who says she is in total support of women not having sex with male partners if they insist on eating meat. What? So she says that it's okay for women to withhold sex from men. That's absolutely okay. If she has that standard that she's going to withhold sex from you, women who are watching this video also need to understand that it's also a man's right 
to leave you if you don't want to have sex with him. So you need to be able to live with that. Don't cry when the guy decides to leave you for somebody else who will have sex with him. So just bear that in mind because there's a lot of men out there who are not desperate, who don't need sex from you, and if you don't provide what he wants in a relationship, he'll simply move on and leave you. So make sure you bear that in mind. If you're with a top tier guy, he'll just simply leave you for somebody else. But it's designed to get men and, and women too, who are still eating meat to sit up and to take notice and to realize that the detrimental impact that eating animals has on the planet. Right, enough of that. Let me explain to you exactly why what she's saying makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. They keep saying that meat is bad for the environment, cows fart, it produces methane, and methane's bad for the atmosphere. Since 1989, so over the last 30 years or so, methane levels in the atmosphere have gone up around 20%, so that is quite a significant increase in methane in the atmosphere. However, cows, our cattle population, has gone down by 10%. Over the last 30 years, we've lost 100 million cows. So if the methane's gone up, and the cows have gone down, but apparently it's the cows that are causing the methane, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't take a genius to work this out. It basically means there's other environmental factors that are causing these issues, if you really believe they're issues. It's not meat that is causing this issue. The reason they keep pushing this is because not eating meat makes you weaker. It makes you a weaker person. It makes you a weaker man in particular. And that is why we have this attack on men and masculinity in general. If you are weaker, it means you are more compliant. It means you don't stand up and say, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. That, I'm just going to accept whatever somebody tells you to do. So if a government tells you to have four experimental jabs in your arm for a virus that is less deadly than a seasonal flu by matter of fact, not opinion, then you'll just do it because you're more compliant. You won't stand up and say, man, no, I've got a healthy immune system. I take vitamin D3, I exercise, I sleep well. I don't need any of that. I'm quite happy with what I have. If they tell you to put a cloth over your face, which limits your oxygen, raising your cortisol levels, making you more stressed, lowering your immune system, making you even sicker, when virus particles simply just go straight through the holes in that face cloth, and they tell you to do that, if you're compliant, you'll just do what they tell you to do. You'll just be a sheep, you'll just be a puppet, and whatever they tell you to do, you'll just do it. That is one of the main reasons they're trying to push people not eating meat. It makes you weaker, and whatever ridiculous requests they have, you'll just simply acquiesce to whatever they tell you to do. I remember when all this was going off in England, we was allowed to go out one time a day for a 30 minute walk. So, but no more than one time a day or you're breaking the law. So because I'm an intelligent young man, I could say to myself, so what's the difference between me going out once a day for a walk and going absolutely nowhere near anybody else in the countryside, or if I go out 10 times in a day for a walk and go absolutely nowhere near anybody, apparently I'm doing bad, I'm breaking the law. That's the type of thing they don't want. People who are capable of independent thought. They don't want that, they want you to listen to whatever bullshit they tell you to do and just do it. And it makes you basically become a slave in their system. What us young men need to do is keep eating meat, is be strong men. Because if you look at our generation, we have a very weak generation. We're not really men anymore. We've got weak-minded, emotional men who can't control themselves, physically weak, mentally weak, it's a real messed up generation of people and you don't have to be that way. And I'm trying to help people in many different ways so that men can actually lead again and be what actually made our countries great in the first place, which is what I would say, just simply real men. Not to try and take this too far, but it's exactly the same thing with electric cars. Electric cars save the environment. Do you not realize that digging all this lithium up to make car batteries is just as harmful for the environment as it would be if you just drove your car? It's exactly the same output. There's nothing that's really going to change. The only reason they want electric cars is because electric cars turn into self-driving cars. They'll say it's not safe to drive your own car anymore. It'd be much safer if your car just drives itself, self-driving cars, they'll sugarcoat it and say, look, you can watch TV and you can use your phone and you can eat your food and all of this bullshit. The goal of that is control. I can get in my car and I can go anywhere I want to go. Nobody can stop me. If I have an electric car, self-driving car, I type in where I want to go and I haven't paid my taxes or I didn't show up to court for something I didn't even do or I didn't get my jab or whatever it is that I'm told to do and I don't do it, 
Well, my car simply won't start. It won't take me where I want to go. The same thing with everything being digital and having no cash. If you don't comply with what a government wants you to do, oh, we'll just erase your bank account. You can't access your bank account. You can't buy food. You can't do anything that you need to do. And I don't want you guys to think this video is getting sidetracked because this is all related into such a simple topic such as why we're not supposed to eat meat. And on animals who are being killed by the billions for a fleeting moment of taste. Uh, it, it's so hard to cut through the hustle and bustle of everyday life, but I think evidenced by the fact that we are talking about this this morning, the suggestion has certainly worked. So she said that animals are dying and that's such a bad thing. Let me just tell you the two big problems with what she just said. The first one is vegans who don't eat meat trying to say that meat eaters are horrible people and they're ethical and they do things the right way. Did you know that wheat, which is largely consumed by vegans, if you harvest 10 kg of wheat, you have to kill 50 times more animals than you would to get 10 kg of meat. They might be smaller animals, insects, rabbits, rats, but the process actually kills more animals than you would if you were just eating meat. And whatever comparison you want to make, it doesn't matter. The reality is vegans are still killing animals. The second problem with this is this idea that vegans think meat eaters enjoy killing animals or do it for some kind of fun or mainly taste. The reason most people eat meat, at least intelligent people, is because it's the most nutrient dense food on the planet and it has key nutrients that you cannot get if you eat a vegan diet, such as creatine, vitamin B12, carnosine, taurine. These are all things that vegans are deficient in and are unhealthy as a result of it. Uh, well, uh, the research shows that men have a larger, a significantly larger footprint than women, uh, owing largely to the fact that they are consuming more meat, more animal flesh. Uh, but, you know, the, the suggestion is really for everyone to go vegan. Just very quickly touch on this. Yes, men have a bigger carbon footprint, whatever. But guess what? When a road's being fixed, who's doing that work? If you look up at the top of a building that's being fixed, it's a man that's up there. If you look on an oil rig, it's a man. Most people on the front line in military are men. These things are very physically demanding jobs and therefore we need to eat meat to fuel those types of jobs. Which seems to have depicted all men as blokes with big grills of either barbecue, you know, cooking up huge steaks and scoffing them while their wives uh, exist on a diet of lettuce. Well, uh, for a kickoff, I think this uh, proposition is uh, sexist. He makes a very good point here. He says it's absolutely sexist, and it is very much so. Like I said earlier, there's a big double standard between men and women, and the reality is, in this world we live in, we hold men accountable, and we just sugarcoat everything for women. Nobody tells women the truth, and I feel sorry for women because people don't tell them the truth. You know, why is it that men should be banned from eating meat uh, by it being banned from having sex. What about women who eat uh, uh, meat? Why aren't they banned from having sex as well? Uh, and also, what I don't like about this, but it does kind of depict sex as some kind of duty, some kind mm. of service that women supply to men that they can withdraw in order to get men to do things. An incredibly old fashioned sexist view of the world, if you don't mind me saying so. He makes another very good point here. If we're saying that it's a woman's duty to provide sex for a man, and I think any person in a relationship, man and woman, knows that that is something that's very important to a man, and there's other responsibilities that are very important for a woman that a man does. But here's the thing. If a woman's responsibilities in a relationship, in your relationship, are negotiable, if she doesn't want to give you sex, well maybe you should withhold some of your responsibilities. For example, if you pay the bills, well maybe you forget to pay the bills this week. If somebody snatches her handbag and you're expected to go chase the guy or punch the guy in the face or whatever. Well, maybe you just let her deal with it. If somebody physically assaults her, well, maybe you'll just forget your masculine responsibilities and you'll just let that guy do whatever he's going to do. It's not right that a man's responsibilities are set in stone and women are allowed to just negotiate what they do and what they don't do. If you're with a woman and she wants to withhold sex from you, you should withhold what she wants, which is attention. Men love sex, women are obsessed with attention. If you don't give her any attention, if she does something you don't like, remove your attention. We actually need 
to start levelling this out and making this fair. Let's not forget it's women that fought for equal rights, which of course I believe in. The female entitlement in our modern world is absolutely off the scale. And I don't even blame women for why they feel so entitled to everything that a man can offer without giving a great deal in return. I blame the men, I blame us men, because we're the ones that have actually allowed this to happen. We're the ones to blame for this, and we're the ones that need to correct it. <laughs> Um, if, you know, if there are any women out there, men out there, and they choose, they wish to withhold sex from their partners as a way to encourage them to go vegan or to take climate change more seriously, I say, you know, all the more power to them. Um, our planet is burning. The situation is critical. So uh, I support anyone who does anything. Yes, absolutely. You do that. Just remember, don't cry when that guy leaves you for somebody else. So what can you guys do if your woman tries to withhold sex for you for not eating meat or for any other reason, whatever? What would I tell you to do? Even though this is a fitness channel, it's just a different style of video that I know if you've watched all the way through, you've definitely learned a lot and got a lot of value from for free. So what I would say is, first of all, have a conversation. Say, look, this is not really working for me. I'm not going to carry on like this. If she doesn't accept that and she carries on, you be polite, you always be a gentleman. You say, okay, thank you very much for the time that we spent together, but I'm not willing to be in a sexless relationship, and you leave. You never look back, you don't message her, you don't answer her, you don't go back to her. That's it, you just simply leave and let her sit with that. She'll probably come crawling back a few weeks later once she realizes that you're actually being serious if you hold out long enough. But be prepared to move on because you can't be in that position. Don't accept or tolerate behavior like that from somebody else, it's not right. And that again ties back into this YouTube channel. That is why I teach you guys to get in really good shape. It's why I also think you guys should learn how to fight. It's why I think you should get a career that you can make some really good money at, that you enjoy, that you love. Be ambitious, be hungry to achieve more. Be an emotionally stable man, be able to deal with situations. If something goes wrong with your car, a tire needs changing, you're the guy that just gets out and changes the tire. You need to be a capable man that can deal with any situation. And when you put yourself in that position, when you're in that top 5% of men, which is not really that difficult to do, you have the pick of whatever women you want. And that is why I personally recommend you build that type of lifestyle for yourself. Not so that you can get women, that's just a stupid childish thing to do, but so that you don't have to put up with the bullshit that 90% of men do have to put up with. You see men all the time having to walk around Ikea with their woman and they don't want to, they're depressed, they really don't want to do that. Their woman tells them what to wear, what they can't wear, tells them all the things that they can and can't do. If you're in that position, you just don't have to tolerate that because you're the one who's the rare commodity. You can walk around the street corner, there's always another beautiful girl, but being that type of guy is extremely rare. There will be some videos on screen right now, guys, if you want to go over and click on one of those videos. This channel is about building muscle and losing body fat. This is a totally different video for me. I just wanted to cover this video because it is about red meat. It's about important topics that I think you need to know about. But there's loads of videos that are going to help you out and get you started building muscle, losing weight, getting in shape, which is extremely important.